Hey guys, welcome back to, uh, I think this is my second voiceover, second really real speed build here on YouTube. Today I decided, as you can see by the title, to do a cat cafe. The idea dawned on me beautifully the other day. I'm sure it's been done. I've never really like Googled it or YouTube, like looked up a video to see if it happened. Basically, I was streaming on Twitch last week and I decided to do a jungle restaurant. And while I was like, oh, like thinking on restaurant themes, I was like, oh my God, a cat cafe. That would be amazing. That'd be beautiful. So I was like, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. And so uh, here we are with that. Again, I listened to my last video and I could hear my audio was a little too loud. So please forgive me. I try to move my microphone a little bit further away. I'm just using a mic on a uh, razor headset. I don't have professional micage, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to do it. But yeah, I was super excited to do this. It's just a small one. I'm sure it could be improved like always. I think with any build, I'm always just like, it can be improved. But this right here, I decided to do a little sunroom for the kitties because I thought that'd be super cute. I've actually never been to a cat cafe. There are a couple near me in my town. But I've never actually been to one, and I, I, I regret it. I need to. I love cats so much. I have two family ones. They're beautiful. Their name is their names are Arrow and Pretzel, and they are just they're gorgeous kitties. They're getting up there in age, though. They're about seven or eight, so they're getting there. But I love them so much. So a little inspo for that with them. So yeah, again, I've never really been to one, so I wasn't sure how to do the interior, like cafe-ish wise, because there's not a whole lot of cafe going on. It's more a lot of cat going on <laughs> so I'm thinking in the sunroom I put just a bunch of posts and everything you'll see later on just for the cats to hang out and you can just hang out with them you know play with them do whatever and then this back room right here it's like an employee back room like I made it like a real kind of establishment type of feel like where the cats will rest and where they get their food basically and where they can go to the bathroom that kind of a thing I put back there so I thought it was pretty okay but yeah, uh, I'm a little tired today. <laughs> Forgive me if I sound a little eh. I had to wake up early to drive home so I could get to school earlier today because I have my hometown's two hours away from where I go to school. So woke up a little extra early so I could stay an extra day, but it was worth it. But I was like, you know what? Now I'm just going to relax, go home after my class I had today, and I'm going to build. So here it is. Uh, right here, this is where I kind of struggled, so I haven't looked too much into the business or get to work pack, and even though I did build a restaurant, but I didn't really do a whole lot of like restaurant, restaurant, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, I didn't really know what to add on, because like, obviously there's been a counter, and I was hopefully thinking I could put like a food thing behind it, but didn't really work out that way, you'll see. I put later on, I put just a little concession, not a concession, uh, what is that thing called? A vending machine. I put a vending machine in the corner, and I'm like, you know what, there it is. There's your cafe part, all right? It works. Because I was going to maybe put a cafe machine, or like a special machine, but I don't know. It's too lazy. It didn't work. And again, here it is. The back room, again, that real work aspect. They got to have a bathroom, your employees, or they'll probably... I don't know if they could sue you for that, but they wouldn't like it. So I thought, perfect, we'll put a bathroom, a little break room, a little cat restroom. It was beautiful. And then, oh, the posters. They're okay. I like the cat de decals a lot, and they actually came in handy, and they really, really did work. But the po like the actual picture frames in the game for this cafe part, they just didn't work out too well. There's a huge dog one, like that famous real life painting of dogs sitting around a poker table playing poker that's in this too which is pretty neat but I didn't do a dog cafe so it didn't work out and I tried to see if I changed the palette if the cat picture would pop up but it did not so I was like you know what screw it we'll just do all these decals even though they kind of look a little silly but I was like you know what it's a cat cafe all right it's, it's, it works out in the end so there's that but hey also another note I'm a little stressed kind of I'm getting there uh, I'm in my, oh, is it only the third or fourth week of school now? And it's just, mm -hmm, it's starting to hit me. Because, you know, that first week of university or college or even high school, you start that first week, you go to your classes, you, you know, you get your syllabus, your, ta like, whatever. And you just kind of hang around and then you go home. You don't do homework or anything because you don't really have any. But in that, like, third or fourth week is when it hits you. It's like, oh, my gosh, I have tests coming up in the next two weeks I have like assignments that are starting to get due now that assignments are starting to pop up that you actually have to do and they're not just due so yeah I have a uh, 
I have my first test next week. And coincidentally, it is on my birthday, October 2nd. So I am not looking forward to that at all. A uh, little sad, all right? QQ. That's all I have to say to that message. <laughs> you know, I don't want to write a test on my birthday. I honestly just want to stay in bed all day. But, you know, responsibilities, being an adult, I kind of have to go or... Mm -mm. Not good. And then, oh, I don't know what it is about this little dog food thing, but I made it, it was able to turn to cat. And I just thought that was the cutest little, like, touch. It's like they have all the food stored in the back kind of a thing. So I thought that worked perfectly. I put four bowls and four cat beds, the, but it's not like, it's not like a limit or anything. I don't know. I didn't know how many cats to put in. Like, I didn't put any cats in, but I was trying to think, like, a reasonable amount and basically four just kind of fit in the backspace for beds and food bowls um, so I was like you know what I guess if someone wants to download this lot uh, they can put in four cats if they please or more and they can take turns sharing beds I mean there is one bed by the front desk so you put in five kitties if you want but yeah I'm, I'm not too sure how to turn a place into a business I think it's pretty easy I've never really done it I kind of do more of the build aspect than play but I really want to start getting into playing again so I'll have to maybe learn how to do that maybe I'll open this actually up in my own sim game and get my sims to play it and visit it and put them kitties in there so we'll see because I definitely can't turn it into a vet thing because then sick animals are just going to start showing up and that is not going to be okay for a cat cafe because we don't need the actual cats to get sick but yeah well here it is See, the decals, it, it was pretty cute. They're pretty cute, you know? I was like, it works. I wish you could change the colors, though. Like, all the cats, they it's just that one color that they basically come with. You can't, like, I like the black, like, coloring for it. It looks really good on the white walls. But then the rest of the cats are, like, you know, full color. But I can't change them because I don't have a thing. So I was like, whatever. It still works. It's fine. I enjoy it. I'm over it, basically. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my rant on, uh, Tests on my birthday because I wasn't I wasn't wasn't feeling it you know and then here this is when I, I guess I start getting into the sunroom it was it was fun I I probably should have made it a little bit bigger but uh, I don't know I just again I I wasn't too sure where to go with it I really like it I've kind of seen something similar online before ish when I watched um I watched an IRL stream of a Twitch user going to go look at cats to possibly adopt one and they did like the big backpack thing so they could go show the cats that they were going to adopt possibly and they had a room kind of like that sun room that I did but it was more like a glass room that was in the middle of the store so I kind of took it from that and I was like yeah sure that that makes sense I was thought about maybe putting a patio out but I was like no that's very unrealistic if you do a patio uh, the cats are going to flee unless they like to be on leashes, but I don't know. There's not a lot of cats like to be on leashes. I have seen some, and it's pretty dang cute and kind of funny because it just looks odd. So you've only seen, you know, dogs on leashes outside. So <laughs> who knows? Because I think we've tried with my cat at home with a leash, and mm, he loves to try and run out the door like fast. As soon as you open that door, you got to be careful where he is. And there it is. There's that vending machine. I cut myself off mid sentence. I was like, there it is. So there's your cafe portion, guys. <laughs> the rest of it is just straight up uh, for cats. And I guess the cat, the cat register, the register counts, you know, you got to pay your fee to pet the cats, all right? This isn't just for freeloaders. You actually got to pay. And then here, this is getting near the end, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, yeah, it's just a quick 10-minute build. I'm proud of myself. I've only done, a, like, two builds, but they've been, they've been kind of lengthy. So I'm pretty excited about this little 10-minute mark one, but, um, Here's the landscaping. I'm, it's not my favorite that I ended off with, but because you'll see me struggle. I delete a lot. I put things back. I'm like, I don't know what to do. But those little cat head statues worked perfectly. I like the left side one, you know, the cat and the little mini kitty, like a mom and a, and a baby. So, yeah, again, struggling. I think I need to practice with landscape or watch some videos on how to really landscape because I feel like I'm good with tree placement sometimes and like sometimes with the little weeds and flowers but when it comes to putting bushes up against like the house like this I don't like the way it looked in the end but I was like you know what I don't want to get rid of them it makes it look a little better it's fine kind of so <laughs> I gotta fix it this is also in as you can see it is titled what is that Benelington Boathouse it of course is in Benelington Ugh. It's in the cats and dogs expansion. Like, uh, you're going to need the cats and dogs, of course, for a cat cafe. So, 
I think that's the only pack I used besides base game was the cats and dogs one, hopefully. I'm pretty sure that's the only one. So if you have base game and cats and dogs, this is for you if you like cat cafes. But, oh, snap, we're coming near an end. Okay, I guess my landscaping, you don't see me struggle too, too much because it's sped up. So that's, that's very nice. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I think I'll end it right here. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to download it, it's under Bloom29, B-L-O-O-M-2-9, if you would like it. Besides that, I'm going to go. Make sure to follow me on social media. I'll link it down below. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.